What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your Wix website to WordPress. So as you might know, Wix is a great platform that allows you to build a great and professional looking website with ease. However, compared to WordPress, of course, WordPress is more advanced and has lots of more advanced features and plugins and more tools to refine your website. So if you are willing to spend the extra time learning WordPress as it is, more difficult uh, than Wix, which is pretty easy and beginner friendly. If you are willing to invest the extra time to learn uh, WordPress, of course, and you want to use and or you will benefit from the extra tools that WordPress has to offer. So, of course, migrating your Wix website to WordPress makes sense. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. So as you can see here, I'm signed into my Wix account. And here are my uh, websites that I created earlier on uh, Wix. Uh, I'll show you uh, here how to create a new website really quickly and how to migrate it to WordPress. So here you can, of course, migrate, do the same with any of the pre-made websites that you created. However, for this video, I'm just going to start with a brand new website. So here you want to click on create new site. You can start from a black canvas or from a template. So I'll start from a template. It'll open up in a new tab where you will open the templates. Okay, and here are the templates. Of course, you can start with a black canvas if you want to. However, I'll just start with this template. Let's say I like this one. You can preview it or click on edit. So I'll click on edit. And here is the template. You can, of course, edit it if you want to. So by clicking on any element like this text uh, element, I can like click on it, select it, and I can edit the settings here like the uh, width and the height of this uh, like specific element, the, the type of the text and the font, I can edit the font size, the color and any like settings that I want to. So let's uh, change like the color uh, pretty quickly. Okay, let's highlight the text. Let's click here on the color. Okay, sorry. You can make it bold, you can make it italic, you can uh, change the alignment. And um, here it doesn't want to change the color for some reason. So we can choose the heading type. Okay, let's get it back to heading one. We can make it italic again. And here we can like drag it around one. So, okay, sorry, I clicked this by mistake. We can uh, click on this text element and we can like drag it around. So move it like up, down and anywhere. And by clicking on the background image or video, we can change it, we can edit it, we can delete it, uh, or we can uh, upload our own. And here we can add elements uh, like images, titles, paragraphs, buttons, containers, videos, and so on. Or we can add like full sections. So if I click on sections right here, we can add a welcome about service products team and so on. So uh, I will not go pretty deep in the uh, editing process of the website itself. I'm just showing you uh, how to uh, like uh, create a website like quickly. However, I'll assume that uh, if you want to migrate your Wix website to WordPress, that you already know how to create a Wix website or you you already have a website on Wix. So I will not go in depth in the uh, showing you the steps of creating and editing the website. Now, okay, okay let's say I'm happy with uh, the changes that I made here. And this is the uh, like uh, the domain name, the random domain that is uh, generated by Wix for me as a free uh, user. Of course, you can connect your domain name, but you'll have to pay for a paid plan. Uh, okay, now everything seems good. Let's publish the website here for, with this uh, free domain name. Okay, save and continue. And our website will be uh, published. Now, if we want to import it, okay, congratulations, your website is now uh, public. Let's view the website here. It'll open in a new tab. And here it is. Here is our uh, website that we just created. Now let's close this tab and um, let's close this pop-up. Now we want to import it to WordPress. So for now, we'll go to WordPress here, uh, open up our dashboard or our main panel. And uh, from the menu on the left, you want to go to tools here. And here you have marketing, monetize, import and export. So we want to focus here on import. So click on import. 
here you will have the or you'll be asked to import your website or your uh, data either from wordpress blogger medium squarespace substack and wix or you can click here to uh, view the full list of websites that wordpress can import from so here you can import from all these uh, websites now let's uh, go back here to the tools and now from this list we want to choose wix so here we want to add our uh, url so this is the url for the website that it's just created and to access it here it is this is the uh, url okay sorry let's close it now if you publish the website uh, select publish or click on a preview here you can uh, view here the url where you can copy it okay click on done go back to wordpress paste the url here and click on continue it'll take like a couple of moments to uh, find your website and here it should give you a preview of your uh, website however for some reason it doesn't uh, show the preview you can like cancel this step and start over and make sure you copy the right url for your website to make sure just go to uh, the website here let's uh, sorry go to the website itself editor and uh, here if you click here on publish you can see your uh, like website published or opened in a new tab so click here on publish and here you can click on view site and this is the url just uh, like copy it and then paste it uh, right here cancel okay paste the url once again and click on continue and for some reason it doesn't want to show the website once again however uh, if the URL is correct, then it will import the website. And now what you want to do is, yes, start import. Okay, and now here it's importing. It might take a while depending on your website. If it's like a, a recent website, a fairly recent website or a new website as one we created, it shouldn't take long. However, if you had your website for a while and you have... Uh, lots of images, lots of pages, lots of videos, lots of media. It should take longer. However, for now, uh, our website is new, so it shouldn't take a long time to import it to WordPress here. Okay, and now uh, the content are imported successfully. And uh, click if you click here on View Site, your website will open here from within WordPress, which is now imported to WordPress. So. Uh, here you've successfully imported your uh, Wix website to WordPress with all its media pages uh, Products if you have products and so on. So here are here is the uh, website itself Of course, it'll look different because uh, we need to apply a theme from WordPress themes However, it's the same website. So if we go ahead and uh, check it here You can you have uh, the options to book a class become a member if you go back to the uh, WordPress website here you have the two options and you have the uh, title itself the PulseFit, PulseFit Studio okay as I uh, recall and now here you have the all the options and the, all the website content of course you need to go ahead to the appearance and apply a theme and go ahead and edit the theme to get the look that you want to because it it won't uh, like the theme will not be imported all the website data however will be successfully imported so that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to import a wix website to wordpress and as i mentioned before you don't have to create a brand new website for this you can go ahead and uh, import any of the website that you already created on wix uh, earlier